Fixing paper and carriage jams in the HP NV Inspire 7200, 7200E, 7900, 7900E all-in-one printer series. If you are experiencing a paper jam error message on your printer display, follow these steps to troubleshoot potential issues that may be causing this error. Note. After each step listed, attempt to print a document to see if the issue has been resolved. If it hasn't, proceed to the following step. Clear jammed paper from the printer. To clear jammed paper from the paper tray areas, open the main tray, then lift and remove the output tray. Remove any jammed paper you see from the photo tray. Push the photo tray back in and remove any jammed paper from the main tray. Then replace the output tray. Gently tilt the printer from the front at about a 60 degree angle to access the printer base. Remove any jammed paper from the base and close the main tray. To clear jammed paper from inside the printer, open the front door and then open the cartridge access door. If there is nothing blocking the print carriage, gently move the print carriage slightly to the left or right of the printer and then remove any jammed paper you see. Caution: Do not move the print carriage all the way to the left or right side of the printer. Lift the handle of the paper path cover, and then remove the cover. Locate any jammed paper inside the printer, then, using both hands, remove the jammed paper. Reinsert the paper path cover until it snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door, and close the front door. If your printer has an ADF or automatic document feeder, you may need to clear jammed paper from the document feeder. Lift the document feeder cover and, using both hands, remove any jammed paper. Then, lower the document feeder cover until it snaps back into place. Lift the document feeder tray and remove any jammed paper from beneath the document feeder. Then, lower the document feeder tray. Dust, paper fiber, and other debris can accumulate on the paper feed rollers, causing paper jams and feed issues. Cleaning the rollers helps prevent future paper jams. Gather the following items, a lint-free cloth, and distilled or filtered water. For printers with an input tray, turn off the printer and unplug the power cord. Disconnect any other cables if there are any attached. Lightly dampen the cloth with the water and squeeze any excess water from the cloth. Pull out the main tray, then gently tilt the printer from the front at about a 60 degree angle to access the printer base. Press the cloth against the rollers and rotate them away from you using your fingers. Apply moderate pressure to remove any dust or dirt buildup. Allow the rollers to dry completely before moving forward. This will take about 10 minutes. For printers with an ADF, turn off the printer and unplug the power cord. Remove any media from the document feeder tray and lift the document feeder cover. Lightly dampen the cloth with the water and squeeze any excess water from the cloth. Gently clean the separator pad and the rollers with the damp cloth. Allow the separator pad and rollers to dry completely before moving forward. This will take about 10 minutes. Lower the document feeder cover until it snaps back into place. When small bits of paper become stuck inside the paper path, paper jams are more likely to occur. To remove debris from the paper path and output rollers, you need to run thicker paper through the printer. First, remove any paper from the input tray and then load one full-size page of photo paper, either letter or A4. With the new media loaded, send a blank print or copy job through the printer. Then, after the paper ejects, open the input tray. Lift the front of the printer and then remove any torn paper or debris from inside the tray and rollers. Reload normal paper and then close the tray. Resetting the printer can help clear a paper jam error message if there is no physical media actually jammed in the printer. With the printer turned on, disconnect the power cord from the printer and unplug the power cord from the power source. Wait 60 seconds and reconnect the power cord to a wall outlet and to the printer. Note, HP recommends plugging the printer directly into a wall outlet. 
Turn on the printer to complete the reset. If the issue continues, service the printer. Contact HP for service and warranty options. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.